All right, part 232, brake system safety standards of freight and other non-passenger trains and equipment end of the train. Subpart B, general requirements. All right, subpart B, general requirements. Scope, this subpart contains general operation performance design requirements for each of the railroad operators for the rate and other non-passenger train for specific equipment used in those operations. 232-103 general requirements for all the train and brake system. The primary brake system of the train is capable of stopping the train and surface application from the maximum operating speed within the signal spacing of the existing of the track over where the train is operating. Integrity of the train line track when train braking system is broken, the train shall be stopped in the train line all use other than solely pneumatic technological technological integrity of the train line shall be monitored with the brake control system. A train brake system shall be responded with the intended signal from the train, li train line. One hundred percent of the brake of the train shall be effective with the operative brakes prior to the use of the department from any location where the class one brake test is required performed on the train pursuant to statute two thirty two two oh five. The train shall not move unless and eighty five percent of the cars if the train has operative and effective brakes. The um each, each train is shall have the air brakes op effective operating condition unless the car is being moved from the repairs accordance with the statute 232.15 and 232.609. The air brakes for the car are not in effective operating condition if the brakes are cut out with otherwise inoperative or in if the piston travel exceeds 10.5 inches for the car is equipped with a nominal 12 inch the stroke with the brake cylinders. The piston travel to indicate with the sensible the jigger on the badge plate with the brake cylinder from which the car is equipped. Except for the car equipped with the nominal 12 inch stroke or 8.5 by 10.5 inch diameter brake cylinder, also car which shall have a legal, legible diesel, decal stencil, stencil sticker affixed to the car and shall have it equipped with the badge plate displaying the mis permissible brake cylinder piston travel to range from the car class 1 brake test, the length of which the piston travel to render with the brake in effect with the different with the class 1 brake test limits. The decal stencil and stickers badge plate shall be located so that it may be easily read and understood as a person positioned safely beside the car. All the requirements are ordered on the after the August 1st, 2002 place and service the first time of the after the first, April 1st, 2004 shall have the train brake system the design for the so that the inspector can observe the safe position either by the piston travel the accurate indicator with which to show the piston travel any other means of the, the brake system and the actuated design shall not require the inspector to place himself on him or herself under the between of the component for the equipment to observe the brake as acquisition release. All train shall be equipped with the emergency application feature with the reduce the ir irretrievable stop using a brake rate inconsistent with the prevailing adhesion train safety brake system thermal capacity. All emergency applications shall be available at all times and should be initiated un unintentionally parting of the train line and blow loss of the train brake connection. J. Arrow should set the maximum main reserve working pressure. The maximum brake pipe pressure shall not exceed greater than 100, um, so sorry, 15 psi less than the air compressor Grosvenor starting of load pressure. Except that it is otherwise provided in the parts of the, all the equipment in the freight and other non passenger trains shall the minimum meet the Association of American Standards um, spec, um, S46. 947 performance standards uh, specifications of per freight brakes contained with the AR manual standard standards of recommended practices section E of the April 1st 1999 the incorporation of the reference association of American Rail um, Railroad Standards was provided by the approved by the director of the Federal Register with in accordance with the title of US 5 US standard code 552A and Title One Code of Regulation Part 51, which may obtain with a copy of the incorporated with the document with the Association of American Records, 50 F Street, North Washington D.C. 200001. You may inspect the copy of the documentation, Federal Railroad Administration Docket Clerk, 1200 New Jersey Avenue, Southeast Washington D.C. National Archives Records Administration or NAR. For the information of rail um, availability of the transportation material, NAR calls for the 202741630. Go to the HTTPW. Archives.gov, Federal Re Federal Register Code of the Federal Regulations, the um, IBR locations, HTML. And if the train is equipped with the airflow, as provided with the subpart C, with the pure experience with the brake pipe with the airflow pressure um, exceeding 60 f um, cubic feet per minute or with brake pipe gradient greater than 5 p 15 psi, while well, the in route with a movable pointer does not return with the limits the, within the reasonable time, the train shall be stopped at the next available location inspected with the leaks for the brake system. And the securement of the unintended equipment of the train air oper air brake shall not be dependent upon the holding equipment is standing unintended with the, on the grade, including a locomotive of the car or train, whether or not the locomotive is attached for the purposes of the section. Unintended equipment means the equipment left standing unmanned in such a manner that the brake system of the equipment cannot be readily controlled with a qualified person. Unintended with equipment shall be secured in accordance with the following requirements. 
One, the efficient number of the handbrakes should be applied with the hold of the equipment. The railroad should be developed and implemented the process procedure verifying the applied with the handbrakes with the efficient hold for the equipment with the air brakes released. Except for the equipment connected with the source of compressed air with the locomotive with the ground air source, the prior to leave with the equipment unintended for the brake pipe should reduce the zero to edge to zero at rate of no less than seven um, then the zero service rate of the reduction of the brake pipe ventilated the atmosphere leaving the angle cock. All right, in the opening position, the first unit with the equipment un um, left unintended is exempt for the distributed with power units following the requirements applied with the unintended locomotives. All handbrakes shall be fully applied on all locomotives in the lead look consistent with the unintended train. All handbrakes shall be fully applied on all the locomotives unintended with the locomotive consistent outside the yard limits. Three, a minimum of the handbrake shall be fully applied with the lead locomotive and unintended with the locomotive consisting of the yard limits. The yard shall develop and adopt and comply with the procedure of securing unintended locomotive required for the handbrake applied with the pursuant to parent Paragraph N31 through N33. Where the locomotive is not equipped with the operative handbrake, therefore the ha um, railroad shall adopt and comply with the process procedure verified and apply with the handbrake sufficiently hold the intended locomotive consistent. The railroad shall adopt the comply with the instruction to address the throttle position status for the reverse lever of the position of the generator field switch, status for the independent brakes, position of the isolation switch, position of the automatic brake valve with the unintended with the automatic locomotives. Um, the procedure with the instruction required with the paragraph shall end to the account of winter weather conditions at the relate of the throttle position reverse handle. Any handbrakes applied with the hold and unintended equipment shall not be released until they have broke known that by the air brake system is properly charged air brake. Air pressure regulating device shall be adjusted with the following presence pressures. Um, minimum brake pipe air pressure road service 60 p 90 psi road switching service 60 psi. Minimum difference between um, hand, um, brake pipe and the main reserve air pressure with the brake valve running position 15 psi. Safety valve with the straight air brake um, 30 to 55 psi. Sa safety valve with the LTET number e a e l number 14 EL number 6 DS number 6 D B L and number 6 SL 30 to 68 um, psi. Safety valve HSC and the number um, 24 RL equipment 30 to 75 psi reducing valve with an independent straight air brake 30 to 50 psi self lapping portion of the electropneumatic brake minimum with full application 50 psi self lapping portion of independent brake full application pressure 30 to 50 psi reducing valve with a high speed brake minimum of 50 psi. All right, the effective date at the 80, uh, effective date no at um, 80 Federal Registers 47384, the August 6, 2015, 232, 103 was amended, revising the paragraphs in the introductory um, text of the number 1 through N1 through 3, adding paragraphs N6 through 11, effective October 15, 2015. For convenience of the user, they added with the revised text is set forth as follows. 232 103 general requirements of all the train brake systems. Secure with the unintended equipment. The unintended equipment shall be secured with the corners with the following requirements. The sufficient number of the handbrakes to not, uh, not fewer than one is shall be applied with the hold of the equipment unless the applicable alternative method of securement is provided with the pursuant paragraph 921 of the um, of this section of the railroad shall develop and implement a process procedure verifying the applied with the handbrakes will sufficiently hold the equipment in which the air brakes are released except for the equipment connected with the source of the commander's air locomotive over the ground air source of the air provided with the, under the paragraph in um, to um, N112, but the section prior to leaving the equipment unintended with the brake pipe shall be reduced to zero at the rate of width no less than the surface rate reduction than the brake pipe of the van with the atmosphere leaving the angle cock of the open position of the first unit of the equipment left unintended with the train air brake shall not be dependent upon the holding the equipment standing unintended with including locomotive in the car to train whether or not the locomotive is attached. Except for the other distributed power power units, the following requirements may, um, apply to the unintended locomotives. All handbrakes shall be fully applied with all the locomotives that lead consistent with the unintended train. All handbrakes shall be fully applied with all the locomotives of the unintended locomotive consisting outside of the yard. At a minimum, the handbrakes shall be fully applied with the lead locomotive within the unintended that locomotive consisting of with, within the yard. The railroad shall develop and adopt and comply with the procedure securing unintended locomotives required to have the handbrake applied with the pursuant paragraph N31 through N33. N3. The section of the locomotive brake is not equipped with the operative handbrake. Um, 6i. The requirements of the paragraph N7 through 8 um, section of, uh, of this section apply to the freight train with the standing freight car with the uh, contain. A. The, lead lo the load tanker car containing with the material poisonous inhalation defined in statutes 171.8 with this uh, title. Um, include the anhydrous ammonia um, UN4-1005, ammonia solutions UN3-318. Um, 20... 
20 or more loaded tank of cards loaded within any amount of portable tanks and any one of the combination has this material listed in the paragraph of N61A of this section of the Division 2, 1 flammable gas class, 3 flammable combustible liquid, Division 1, 2, or 1, 3, um, 1, Division 1, 2, 1, 1, or 1, 2, um, explosive of the hazardous substance listed in Statute 130, 173.31.52 with the title. For this purpose, the paragraph of the tanker car containing the residual hazardous material is defined in Statute 171.8, but the title is not considered a loaded car. 7-1. Um, equipment described in the paragraph of the insect for this section shall not be on the tent of the main track of the side, except for the, the main track of the side running through the directly adjacent of the yard until the railroad has stopped the complying with the main plan, identifying the specific location and circumstances when the equipment may be left on the tent, but the plan shall contain the sufficient justification to determination of the equipment that may be left on the tent of the railroad must notify the FRA when the railroad develops and has placed in a plan that modifies the existing plan and under the provision prior to the pursuant, operating pursuant to the plan, the plan shall be made available to the FRA upon with the request the FRA reserve the right to require modifications to the plan and should have determined the plan is insufficient is not sufficient. Um the except for the providing with the paragraph N eight three of the section of the freight train but describe the paragraph N six of the section left unattended for the main track or the uh siding of the run of uh, siding that runs through the if the directly adjacent to the yard shall comply with the re requirement that contained with the paragraph N eight one of the N eight two of the section. Eight one. When the freight train of the same freight car described the paragraph the N six of the section left unattended with the main track of the siding outside of the yard not directly adjacent with the yard but the employee responsibly securing the equipment so very Verify another person qualifying to make the uh, make the determination of the equipment is secured with the corns for the required railroads procedure and procedure pro processes and procedures. To the um, controlling locomotive of the cab of the freight train described in the paragraph N6 for this section shall be locked in the locomotive of the capable of being locked if the controlling cab is capable of being locked if the reverse of the controlling locomotive should be removed from the control stand for the place and secured location. Three, the locomotive of the left antenna with the main track of the stand but the run through the directed adjacent yard with except for the requirements to N8-2 for the section of locomotive is not equipped with the operative locomotive but the locomotive of the reverse that cannot be removed from the control stand or has the reverse that is necessary to cold weather operation. Operations 9. Each of the railroad implementation and rules of the procedure requiring for the brief, uh, briefing the securement of any of the activities which will impact require the securement of any unintended equipment of the course of the work and being performed. 10. Any each of the railroad shall adopt the comply with the procedure ensuring that as soon as the practical the qualified employee verifies the procurement securement of the unintended equipment when the railroad has acknowledged that the non-railroad emergency responder has on or under or between the equipment that the railroad may be adopted and must be complied with the alternative securement procedures due to the following. In lieu of applying the handbrakes required for the paragraph and of the section properly to main, maintain the mechanical securement device within the device design of the criteria intended for the use of the classification yard or on repair. Two, in lieu of the compliance associated requirements of the paragraph N2 of this section, in lieu of the, applying the handbrakes as required in the paragraph A of N, the section isolate with the brake pipe standing the equipment for the atmosphere of it, initiates the emergency brake application on the equipment closure. The angle cock operates with the locomotive otherwise proceeds directly opposite end of the equipment of the sole purpose to either open the angle cock to prevent the atmosphere of the provided by the air force and and three, the upon completion of the procedure described in the paragraph and 11.2 of this section, the securement requirements of the paragraph of this section shall apply. 232.105, general comments of a locomotive. The air brake equipment of the locomotive shall be in the safe and suitable condition. Service of all locomotives ordered in order after August 1st, 2002. Placed in service for the first time or on after the first, April 1st, 2004. Shall be equipped with the hand and braking, the hand braking, hand, hand or parking brake that is, if it is capable of application of a activation handle, um, by activation by hand, capable capable of reach by hand, capable of holding the unit on three percent grade, and on a locomotive equipped with a hand braking as well, the part of the connection shall be an inspected with the necessary repair bait made as on often rest and um, serve the repair requires not less than the frequently than the re every 368 days if the day the last inspection shall be either either entered in the form FRA F six one eight zero four nine A suitable stencil tagged on the locomotive. All right, D, the amount of leakage from the equalizing reservoir of the locomotive related to the piping shall be zero for the, the system capable of maintaining the set pressure for the air, any of the surface application for the brake control valve with the brake position that such a leak of the defective in route with the train may become be moved only with the nearest forward location with the equalizing reserve leakage can be corrected with the locomotive with the equipped with the electronic brake for the system lug displays the faulted brake related to equalizing reservoir leakage for the train may be moved only with the nearest forward location where the necessary repairs can be made. Um... E use of feed and regulated regulation valve um controlling braking um
is prohibited. The passenger contained um, passenger position of the locomotive brake control stand should be used in the, in the trailing equipment designed with the grade brake, brake release. If a quick equalizing reserve leakage occurs on the route, it is used it is, it is used as necessary safe control for the, the, the movement of the train until it reaches the next forward location when the reverse leakage can be corrected. When the take, taking charge of the locomotive, the locomotive consists of the engineer must know that the brakes are in operative condition. All right, um, 232-105 general requirements of a locomotive. The, after March 1st, 2017, each locomotive that is intended for the house over the yard will not on the track directly adjacent to the yard shall be equipped with the operative exterior locking mechanism. The new railroad shall inspect and wear the necessary repair of the locking mechanism during the locomotive period. Inspection required in Statute 229-23 of the, this Chapter 3. If in the event of the locomo loco locking mechanism both becomes inoperative during the train a time inter interval between the periodic inspection, the railroad must repair the locking mechanism within 30 days, finding the inoperative lock. Um, for a railroad may continue with a locomotive without operating locomotive um, locking mechanism. However, the controlling locomotive at the train meeting with the requirements of Statute 232-103-961, uh, sorry, N61, um, does not have operative locking mechanisms. The locomotive of the train must be um, left unattended with the main track of the signing unless with the reverse or the remove of the control stand as required in Statute 232-103-N82. locomotive otherwise meets the other exemptions prescribed described in 232-103-N83. All right, 232-107 air, um, air source requirements of cold weather operation. Monitoring of the plan for the, um, for the yard air source of the railroad should adopt and comply with a written plan for the monitoring of all the railroad air source of the other than locomotive determining their operation. Intended to do not introduce the contamination of the brake system the freight equipment. The plan should require the railroad to inspect each of the yard sources at least twice a year, twi well, twice to per year calendar year, no more, not less than five months apart, and to determine it is operating and intended does not introduce contaminations into the brake system of the equipment and services. It services. Identify the yard air sources found not to be operating in the intended for the found introducing contaminants, but the brake system of the equipment is a service. Repair and take other remedial action regarding the, any of the yard air source identified under the paragraph 2 A22. A22 and of the section a railroad shall maintain the record of information action required with the paragraph A2 with the record shall maintain with the period of at least one year of the date of the creation may be maintained after the electronically or written writing. B. The condensation or other contamination will be blown from the pipe of the hose with which is compressed air was taken out of the prior to the connection of the yard air line with the movement move motive power of the train. No chemicals of which are known to the great harm brake system components shall be placed in the train air brake system. Yard air reserves shall be either equipped with an operable automatic drain system manually drained at least once each day but the devices are used more than often if use of defective the system. E. The railroad shall adopt and comply with the detailed written operation procedure tales of the equipment territory of the railroad to cover the safe train operation by the cold weather for the purpose of the provisions of cold weather it means that the ambient temperature drops 10 degrees below Fahrenheit, um, below, 10, below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or 12.2 degrees Celsius. Um, 232-109, dynamic braking requirements. Symptoms provided by in paragraph 1 of the section locomotive and engineer shall inform for the operating of the status of the dynamic brake locomotive. The units consist of the initial term terminal of the um, train with the other locations where the locomotive and engineer being, being operation of the train. The information provided with the paragraph may be provided with the locomotive the engineer may as many of the terms of the appropriate with the railroad. However, the written electronic record of the information shall be maintained in the cab of the controlling locomotive. Except the provided with the paragraph of the section operative the dynamic brake shall be prepared within 30 days of the calendar before inoperative the locomotive the next period of inspection inspection pursuant to statute 229 23 of this chapter wherever the whichever the com, um, occurs first except there is provided in paragraph e of the section locomotive discovered the operative inoperative the dynamic brake shall have the tag bearing with the words inoperative dynamic brake securing its attached display from the contiguous location of the cab of the locomotive the tag shall contain the following information the locomotive number, the name of the discovering carrier, the location and the date where the conditions were discovered. <laughs> the signature of the person discovering the condition, an electronic written record with the repair of the locomotive, the dynamic brake, shall be retained for 92 days. Railroad may elect to declare the dynamic brakes of the locomotive deactivated without removing the dynamic brake components for the locomotive, only if they all follow the following conditions are met. When the locomotive is clearly marked with the Lord's that dynamic brake deactivated with the conspicuous location of the cab locomotive, the railroad has been an appropriate action to ensure the deactivated locomotive is incapable of utilizing the dynamic brake after 
to retard or control chain speed. After the locomotive consistent intended for the use of the uh, have its dynamic brakes used while the transit of the locomotive the unoperative deactivated dynamic brakes locomotive not equipped with the dynamic brakes shall be not placed in controlling lead position of the consisting unless other locomotives have the capability of controlling the dynamic brakes and efforts of the trailing locomotive and consisting with it is equipped with the displaying of the locomotive the engineer the deceleration rate of the Re, um, train of the total train dynamic a, a, um, brake retarding force. Um, G. All the locomotives equipped with the dynamic brakes ordered by the uh, honor after the April 1st, 2006, of the place in service for the first time on or after the October 1st, 2007, shall be designed to one conduct uh, um, an electrical integrity test for the dynamic brakes to determine the electrical current that is received the, at the grids of the system. The display of the real time cab of the controlling lead that locomotive the time, total dynamic brake retarding for the force available to, at the train. Eight of the all rebu um, rebuilt locomotives equipped with the dynamic brakes placed in the service of the April 1st, 2004 shall be designed to conduct electrical integrity with the test of the dynamic brakes to determine that if the electrical current is received at the grid of, on its grid at the grids on the system. Three, to display either the train decelerization re real time of the cab of the controlling lead locomotive of the total train dynamic retarding force for the available in the train. Um, a, the information required for the paragraph A of the section is not required for the provided with the locomotive engineer of well, the locomotive with the lead consistent with the train is equipped with the coins of paragraph G of the section. J, um, uh, a railroad operating train with the brake system that includes the dynamic brake shell adapt and comply with written order um, operating rules governing the safe tra um, training handling procedures using the dynamic brakes under the operating condition that they shall be tailored with specific equipment territory railroad. The operator operating rules ensure that the friction brakes are sufficient themselves without the aid of the dynamic brakes and stop the train safely under un under all operating conditions. Include a mile per hour over speed, over speed stop at the minimum. This rail should be um, required at any train within the descending of the section in which an average grade with 1% of the greater over the distance of three continuous miles shall be immediately brought to the stop and emergency brake application if necessary when at, when trains speed, exce um, speed exceeds maximum authorized speed of the train more than 5 miles per hour. Railroad should reduce the 5 miles per hour over st speed stop. Restriction of validated research indicates the need for the reduction. The railroad, r r railroad may increase the 5 miles per hour over speed reduction only with the approval of the FRA based upon the verified data and research. All right, and K, railroad operating training with its brake system includes the dynamic brake shall be adopted to comply with the specific knowledge, skills, ability, criteria, and ensure the locomotive and the engineers fully trained operating rules prescribed in paragraph J of the section of the railroad shall incorporate with such of the criteria of the locomotive engineer certification program pursuant to part 240 of the chapter. All right, 232, we'll let um, 111, tra train handling information. The railroad adopted to comply with the written procedure to ensure that the train um, crew employed with the railroad given the accurate information on the condition of the train brake system, the train factors affecting the brake system, performance and testing when the crew takes over the responsibility for the training, the information required for the area to provide for the locomotive engineer as a means of the determined appropriate by the railroad. However, the written electronic code for the information shall be maintained in the cab of the control locomotive. The procedure shall require each of the train crew to take charge of the train to be informed of the total weight of the length of the train based on the best information available to the railroad to the um, special weight of the distribution that would be required, the special train handling procedures, three and number location of the cars cut out, otherwise inoperative the brakes, the location where they will be repaired. If the class one and class one A class one and class one A brake test require prior to the next crew change point, the location at which the test shall be performed and any um, train um, brake system that problems encountered with the previous crew of the, uh, of the train. Subpart C inspection testing requirements.